Hey everybody, how's it going? Um, I was going to do a different video, and I'll do that later. But um, what I'm doing now is a in-depth look at my Elements of 40K video. And by that I mean taking the four elements and doing a video for each of them. Going a little more in-depth. Um, the whole reasoning for this is because I was inspired to do this after seeing Tony Pony F's response video to my Elements of 40K stuff. And he did um, a great video, a great response. He covered aspects that I didn't really think about covering, like, objectives too much. Like, he goes in-depth on that, and he, you know, covers things I didn't even think about, and or things I only glossed over. So I think it's a great response video, I think he did a great job, and that before you watch this series of videos coming up, one for each element, um, if you don't know what I'm talking about, you should watch both my Elms of 40k video and the response video that he does. So, um, well, let's get right to it. First element I'm going to talk about is fire because I love fire personally. Um, you know, not talking about elements, but I just love fire. I'm a pyro. But uh, other than that, in elements 40k, fire represents aggression um, and combat. Essentially, what I mean is a fire army is a very aggressive army that's usually the sole result is to get into close combat. Their entire army list and the entire tactics and that are used in strategy type stuff that is used by the player will be to get into close combat as best as possible, as quickly as possible, and um, where they can really shine. Example armies has been said already, but I'll go over it again. Orcs, uh, Black Templar, Space Souls, Blood Angels, even Tyranids are good example armies, just to give you an idea. Um, those, these are armies I say that are primarily fire, stereotypically. Um, there are fire type units and armies that aren't specifically that. Um, a good example would be Assault Marines, Blood Claws, uh, even Flayed Ones, although they're not the greatest assaulters out there, but for a Necron list, they're pretty much geared purely towards the assault. Um, so you get the idea. Essentially, they'll have some type of war gear, special rule, or stat line um, uh, specialization for assaulting. Uh, corn Berserkers, for example, are another good example of fire. Now, armies that aren't specifically fire type can be played with fire tendencies because you have certain units or because of a specific playstyle or a specific strategy to them. Like if you're facing Tau and you're in Pila Guard, you might take your gun line that you normally would have had and throw it at them and get in there and get stuck in because you can take Tau fairly easily in close combat. I don't want to say easily, but let's face it. Weapon skill 2, initiative 2 against guards and weapon skill 3, initiative 3. You're gonna most likely take them in close combat. Um, so yeah, that's an example of changing your playstyle depending on what you're fighting. Now, I just want to say more in depth about this. Fire isn't the easiest one to play. Not only is it particularly easy to play, um, I know it seems easy for just to get, to get in there and assault, but you have to keep several factors in mind, uh, survivability, difficult terrain, and um, getting the charge. Fire Army really ex excel at getting the charge, and there's many different ways you can go about doing this, you know, outside of open tops or assault vehicles, you can do that. I'm just timing it, or you know, make uh, spacing it out correctly so you get within assault range on your movement. Um, you have to be careful though, because if you're gonna, if the enemy has like cavalry or beasts, they can out char charge you and steal the charge. Which you know, if you're a specific, if you're a G for example, and they steal the charge, it's not gonna matter too much. But you want the extra attacks. The the more in your favor the assault phase is. Aside from you being assault specialist, but getting the extra attack for charging uh, is a good example. The better off you'll be, and um, especially if you have a stuff like furious charge, you want that to go off. That's going to help you, like orcs. If you steal a charge from orcs, you're really going to put a a hole in their sail, if you will. They'll be strength three and initiative two. I mean, yeah, the power claw is still going to hurt. And they, you can still get attacked by a lot of attacks back, but it really, they're, they're meant to charge you and hopefully destroy you in the charge. Um, anyway, 
so when you're playing fire you gotta build your army if you're gonna play fire and play it extensively you gotta build your army towards it, it means trimming out some of the juicy big big guns in favor of more transports or a squad that moves fast or outflanks or something or deep strikes even so a main drawback of a fire army aside from the fact that as 2020 said when you play to missions you'll be losing units that you otherwise would have in the assault because you can have your troopers who are probably also geared towards the assault having the whole objectives um, aside from that another weakness is you're not going to have much high strength anti-tank firepower for shooting that's mostly going to come in the form of power fist type weaponry or melt bomb type war gear where you can actually um, where you just charge into it and beat it that way now you could have some melta type weaponry or plasma even but the, what I mean is you're not going to have that, that broadside, you're not going to have that devastator team most likely because devastator teams will be expensive where you could better suit that to another assault mode squad for example if you're going to go with fire um, and you're not probably going to upgrade uh, your tactical squads to have a bigger heavy weapon because you want to get them stuck in now that's that's playing fire you want to build your list and trim the fat away from it that way everything is used in constantly with each other to getting in there so you may have that land raider yeah you know to be the to absorb the shots as the other rhinos wrap up by it at the same notion on the flip side now when you are playing against fire shooting is your ally um but this i mean more often than not, you're going to be able to outshoot them, outrange them. Because why would they stand still and shoot their rapid fire weapons when they can be getting closer? Why would they fire a heavy weapon when they can be getting closer? So you would be able to reach out and touch them before they get to you. More often than not, you're going to probably get assaulted by at least one of the squads, unless you happen to have a great role in this they really does fail the armor and cover saves. But, um, especially with the uh, mechanized list being popular now, you're going to need things to pop mech mechanized list. Have some high strength weaponry in there. Auto cannon type stuff is great for light vehicles. Missile launchers are great. Double, du double duty right there. Um, what you want to do is you want to make delay them and make um, if you can keep them from assaulting in general that's great but more often than not delaying them one extra turn means you can do more catch with these reroute what will get assaulted. You know, moving your something you want to keep out of harm's way back and moving up a sacrificial unit or a screening unit forward. Or, you know, hey, maybe you know, be able to uh, just wipe them out because they're going to move, possibly shoot or run or whatever. And then you can assault. Some things to be careful about. Don't forget about cavalry and beasts in, in assault style armies. They assault 12 inches and, and have fleet. Don't forget about fleet. You know, Harlequins and Eldar and Dark Eldar have fleet. You know, all of a sudden you see them, they're not shooting, they're running, you, you don't think you're safe if they have fleet. That can get them into charge range. So really knowing your ranges is, is critical for those playing against and playing as a fire army. Um, you want to be confident that you will get the assault if you, um, on that turn you want it. And you want to be confident that you're out of the assault range on the turn that the enemy is trying to get you. So that's pretty much in-depth for fire. It's pretty straightforward, but it can be hard to, to get right. Um, especially if you're new to assaulting. Um, that's pretty much it. The next element I'm going to talk about is earth, which is, I guess, would be the extreme opposite compared to fire. And which is, is more of like the defense type army, but we'll get into that in its own video. Um, just one thing I want to say before I go, none of the elements is better or more successful over the other and even though you might be a primarily fire army you're gonna mix in water and air elements to it as well it's just the way you play the army may be strong one way but don't let that keep you from blocking out any tactics that might be like an air tactic or a water tactic um, every army has a blend there's no army that's purely one this is armies that are very good at one um, so that's pretty much that i uh, hope you've enjoyed and take it easy